When we consider ancient technology, we seldom think of the unparalleled stones and ball bank, which are so enormous and weigh so much that we could not even move them in this day and age if we wanted to, so wait till you hear this. 40,000 men to move one of these stones. This is the estimated man strength that is being suggested, but how could this be accurate? Simply put, it is not accurate. There must have been some sort of technology that they used to move these monoliths. Again, we are confronted by ancient stones that are of such unimaginable proportions, no one actually knows what it was for or how these mega wonders were even moved. They are absolutely enormous and right up there with the largest and heaviest monoliths ever quarried on planet Earth. Now, when we look at this stone and the sheer scale, it is hard to imagine what purpose this would have been for. Perhaps it was intended to be the base stone of some mega structure. Perhaps it was part of a construction that was destroyed. Who knows? Weighing over a thousand tons, the stone of the pregnant woman was the largest such stone in known existence all the way through antiquity and into modern times. Until the 1990s, when even larger stone was discovered at Baalbek, weighing in astonishing 1,300 tons, it is almost unbelievable to imagine what the purpose of these massive undertakings would have been. There could very well be dozens of these monoliths at this site alone, and in 2014, this seems to have been confirmed when the German Archaeological Institute announced the discovery of the third monolith that had been covered for thousands of years. Weighing an eye-watering 1,700 tons, we can't stress to you guys enough of the absolutely astonishing scale these three monoliths are on. It's mind-boggling. It is thought the stones were quarried for the Temple of Jupiter, but we probably will never know the true original purpose. But the fact they exist is enough to at least question the idea that it could not have been done by sheer brute human strength. There must have been other ideas at work to even envision the massive scale of these stones. Baalbek is officially a Roman temple that was built on the foundation of a much earlier site. Some of the foundation stones that make up the main platform weigh in at around 800 to 1,000 tons. However, the true origin of this site are shrouded in mystery, but it is known that the Romans called it Heliopolis with its namesake in Egypt. Scholars and independent researchers argue that it could have been constructed by the Phoenicians who were known in the Bible as the Canaanites, the people of Canaan. It also refers to this area as being inhabited by giants, also in the Bible. Baalbek appears under the name Balath, a town refortified by Israel's King Solomon. Tradition states that the fortress of Baalbek is the most ancient building in the world. Cain, the son of Adam, built it during a fit of raving madness. He gave it the name of his son Enoch and peopled it with giants who were punished for their behavior at the time of the Great Flood. It certainly does appear to have been built by giants when trying to work out how some of these stones could have been moved into place. The western wall of the Temple of Jupiter contains some of these immense blocks. Just how could they have got them from the quarry to the main site and then placed them so accurately? The stones of Baalbek are one of the enduring mysteries of the ages and it does seem like some special occult power was employed to quarry, lift, and transport these immense blocks. Why they decided to use stones of this size has baffled researchers for generations. It would have been so much easier to use smaller blocks and put them together at the site. Graham Hancock made these comments regarding the site. The fact that these gigantic, almost finished blocks remain in the quarry and were never sliced up into smaller blocks and used in the general construction of the Temple of Jupiter suggests to me very strongly that the Romans did not even know they were there. Most probably they had been buried under many meters of sediment for many thousands of years when the Romans appeared on the scene. They made use of the megaliths that were already in place on the already remotely ancient sacred site that would become the Temple of Jupiter, a handy, massive, and convenient platform 
upon which they could build their temple, but they knew nothing of the fully cut and shaped but unused megaliths lying deeply buried in the quarry. Again, history is found out to be lying to us, but our true nature and history is practically screaming to us through the ages, yet we choose to ignore what these unimaginable stones are trying to tell us. The fact is that until we start weighing up the facts and searching for actual historical truth, then we will never really understand anything. What do you guys think of the stones of Baalbek? We would love to read your thoughts, so please comment below. Thank you for watching.